And another bombing in Cairo, this time targeting a police training center. The explosion left one person injured, and there are also unconfirmed reports of a second blast in the city on Saturday. Cairo had already suffered a series of bombings on Friday, killing six people. Dozens were hurt in the four blasts, which included a powerful car bomb outside a security headquarters in central Cairo. An Al-Qaeda sympathizer group admitted the carnage and is warning civilians to stay away from police buildings. The attack sparked public anger at the Muslim Brotherhood, even though it denies any involvement. Their supporters turned up for rallies across Egypt, but they turned violent. At least 15 people died in clashes with police. Egypt's bracing for rival demonstrations as the country marks the third anniversary of the uprising. Artis Beltru is in Cairo. Three years on from the 2011 revolution, Egypt was supposed to be celebrating. Instead, deadly bomb blasts rocked Cairo, targeting police officers. As the country descends into chaos, Egyptians are dangerously split between those who back the military and those who support ousted Muslim Brotherhood President Mohamed Morsi. Crowds of people gathered at the site of the bomb blast, which ripped open the facade of Egypt's main police headquarters in Cairo. The people here, like many in government, blame the Muslim Brotherhood and say it is an avenge attack on the state after they ousted Islamist President Mohamed Morsi. With anger mounting, there is likely to be a harsher crackdown on the Islamist group. Execute the Brotherhood. They are to blame for this. The terrorists want to break the country in half. Some are afraid to leave their homes, but most are more determined than ever to go to the streets against the Brotherhood for the revolution anniversary. The military-installed government accuses the Brotherhood of being behind a rising insurgency and a spike in terror attacks. The media has observed the scheme announced by the Brotherhood at their meetings abroad. They want to disable the country's political roadmap and disturb the referendum on the constitution. The Muslim Brotherhood is just a tool. Our enemy is the foreign element that controls these tools. All Egyptian people know about this. But hundreds of Brotherhood supporters are in jail and they say they are under attack from the power-hungry military. This month, the majority of the population approved a new constitution that broadened the army's powers. It shields the military budget from cuts, gives the armed forces the right to approve defence ministers and try civilians in military courts. It was the military coup that they always create this kind of... Um, um, explosions just to um, justificate to get a justification against the anti-coup people, uh, and and we believe that they did these the three bombing this morning, these three explosives this morning, and um, and they just want to um, um, have more and more massacres against their uh, oppositions in the street. Three years after the uprising, which saw the country unite against the dictatorship. Egypt is now increasingly divided. Rather than celebrating a new democracy and much needed change, Egyptians are stealing themselves ahead of more violence. Beltru for RT Cairo. Now, the 2011 revolution ended almost three decades of rule by dictator Hosni Mubarak. After more than a year of transitional military rule, the Islamist backed candidate Mohamed Morsi was elected president. His government pushed through a new Constitution criticized for being over influenced by Sharia law. A popular uprising against Morsi led to him being forced out by the army a year later. The military then launched a crackdown on the Muslim Brotherhood, with thousands of supporters killed in the unrest. The Brotherhood was then declared a terror group. The editor of the Pan African Newswire told us that Egypt's government should tackle its differences with the opposition to achieve any stability. The army cannot guarantee. Uh, security inside of Egypt as long as there's no political solution uh, to this uh, split uh, that exists between the Brotherhood as well as the uh, military and those who are aligned with the uh, Egyptian military. It's a very uh, tense atmosphere uh, inside of the country. Uh, there are many opponents uh, to uh, the military-backed regime. Uh, there was a significant boycott of the uh, referendum elections uh, just uh, last week. And uh, I believe that uh, the tensions are going to grow. And as long as the uh, current uh, interim government remains intransigent and uh, wants to continue the repression of the uh, Muslim Brotherhood and other forces inside the country who disagree with their rule, uh, there's potential for more conflict both uh, in the streets as well as uh, the type of attacks that we saw uh, earlier uh, yesterday.